Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Drupal Studio channel. Today I'm going to be covering how to make a random maze generation in Scratch. Let's go. So the first thing we want to do is rename our project. And I'm just going to call this maze gen. And the next thing we want to do after this is go ahead to our sprite. And we just want to delete it because we're not going to be needing that cat sprite. First thing we want to do is just go to backdrops and I'm going to make my backdrop a nice black color. Uh, yours doesn't have to be black, uh, it can be any color you want, but I'm just going to go black because it's a nice clean color and I like the look of it. The next thing we're going to do is go to choose a sprite down here in the bottom right and we're going to click paint. Then I'm going to go over to the box, the rectangle tool, sorry, make sure it's selected, go to fill we don't want to fill and we want a bordered outline now I'm going to align it so it's slightly outside of the area like so there we go lovely jubbly and I'm going to center it there we go lovely so now we've done this I'm going to rename this sprite to uh, area and I'm going to set it to zero zero and then we can go ahead back to the choose a sprite option here and we're going to go to paint. Now we're going to start making like the actual maze. So what we want to do is go over to the costume one here and we're just going to call this tile for example. Uh, you don't have to call it tile, doesn't really matter what you call it. And we are going to click convert to bitmap. Then we're going to zoom all the way in and we're going to make this a nice red color. And we're just gonna have to draw a rectangle, a two by two. So these squares here, we want one, two, one, two, two by two. Uh, and that will make the sprite eight by eight. Then we're gonna click convert to vector and make sure it's in the middle, like so. It's really important that the costume size is eight by eight it is very important because when we do some maths later in the coding it has to be eight by eight the next thing we want to do is just right click on this costume and click duplicate and we're going to call this long tile once again you don't have to call it that but that is why i'm going to call it and we want to extend this costume so it is five so we one two three four five by two, so the costume, the pixels would be 20 by eight for this costume. Then we want to right click on this tile and duplicate it again. And this time we want to shrink it. So it is eight by eight, but just not in the center. So you want basically the first tile, but just across. And we're gonna color this one into a nice blue color. I'm gonna call this detection tile. There we go. And then we can also duplicate the first tile again. I'm just gonna drag that to the bottom and I'm gonna call it X tile. And on this X tile, I'm just going to remove this cube here and I'm just gonna draw a green X right in the middle like so and that will just mark exactly the spot where the maze sprite will end up and it will show the dead center where it started so we're going to name this sprite one into maze like so and as you can see this tiny little spot here that is exactly what we wanted and i'm just going to center this to zero zero so the first thing we want to do before we start coding, uh, once we've made all our sprites, is go down to the bottom left here and to the add extension. We're gonna click that and we want to add the pen extension. This will help us draw the maze uh, without needing multiple like sprites or using clones. This will just help us create it with much ease. Okay, so the first piece of code that we want to do uh, we want to add is a green flag click. So we want to go to the events tab and grab a when green flag clicked. Then we want to go back to the pen and we want to get an erase all. This means if there's already a 
um, a maze generated it will just wipe it and it will start again and we want to go to the variables now this is where we want to rename the my variable to uh, size of tile now you don't have to name it this you could name it tile size or whatever you can name it whatever you want I'm just naming it this for ease and so I know what it is and we want to grab a grab a set size of tile to zero block and shove that under that then we want to go to the looks tab and we want to get a set size to 100% here then we want to go to the operators tab and we want to grab a divide by and a multiply by. Now we want to grab the, the divide block and shove it in the first portion of the multiply and whack that in there. Then in the first area of input we can type 100 and in the second one we can type 12. And when we multiply it by the size of the tile it works really well with our canvas. So I'm just going to set a size of tile to 20 for example. Then I want to go to the motion tab and I want to go to go to, whack that in like that and we want to go to point to, uh, point in direction sorry, uh, and we want to once again grab, go to the operators and grab a multiply and a pick random. I want to whack that pick random in the back and we want to set it to minus one and to two and we want to put the 90 in the first part here. The next thing we want to do is go to the My Blocks tab and click Make a Block. This block we're going to call uh, Draw oh, Draw Maze, and we're just going to click Run without screen refresh, and we're going to click OK. Drag that down at the bottom here. We're going to drag that block here, and before we define what the draw maze block does we're just going to go to looks and we're going to switch the costume to the x tile costume now we're going to move on to defining our draw maze block our draw maze block is pretty simple all it is really is switching the costume to the long tile costume and going to the pen tab we want to stamp this means it will basically just copy and create it will create a copy of our sprite and put it on the canvas and we'll be able to move it on to a different position where it could create another stamp where it can create more of a maze structure. So once we've done that we want it to actually now move so we want to go to the motion and we want to grab a move 10 steps then we want to get a size of tile and we want to put that in and then we want to go to uh, my blocks and we want to create a new block called try directions from and we want to add an input and we can call this starting direction hit OK uh, and we want to just drag that somewhere else right now and we can drag that block in here and we now need to go to motion all the way down to the bottom grab the direction and drag that in and the last thing we want to do is go to move 10 steps get that in go back to operators grab a minus set this to zero and grab another size of tile now that we have done that so to begin defining our try directions from starting direction block here what we need to do is go to the motions tab and we need to grab a turn right 15 degrees block then what we need to do is go to operators grab a multiply drag that in there then grab a pick random drag that in there again and this time we want to set it to negative one to one and we want to type 90 in here then what we want to do is go to looks switch costume to detection tile and go to uh, control grab a repeat block change that 10 into a 4 because there's 4 possible directions that it can move in 
and we want to go a if then whack that in there go to operators grab a not grab a or put the or in the not and go to sensing and we need touching and touching color so touching mouse pointer we want to change mouse pointer to area and touching edge color we do not need that what we need instead and we're going to pick the color is this red color here select that and now we can put that in the if then statement and then we can grab go to my blocks and grab a draw maze we're not done just yet what we need to do now is go to motion once more and grab a turn right again put that under the if then statement uh, and then we need a point in direction and we can grab a starting direction right there now if we hit play as you can see it just builds the maze instantly and we can keep hitting play and as you can see it randomizes it each and every time however as you notice it does do it instantly if you want to watch the process all you need to do is click right click on the define draw maze button block sorry I click edit and click untick run without screen refresh we we'll click it now as you can see we can watch the process of the maze being built and actually once it has fully been made the detection tile will continuously rotate around until it reaches the center where it will draw its x marking the center and its starting point now that did take a while i sped it up during editing however it did take a while and if you want to you know change the size of the maze all you need to do is change the size of tile to block right here from 20 if you want to increase the the map size you can click 10 and uh, I'm going to just run the last screen refresh so it shows you how quick it is as you can see this is way too big and it doesn't work so if we change it to 12 it works and this is probably the smallest you can get without it reaching its limit yeah 12 12 is definitely the limit uh, but then if you want to make it smaller you increase the number so if we go from 40 for example as you can see 40 is a really really big one I don't recommend any bigger really because it's just it's not much of a maze anymore it's more of just a, a simple path but that has been how to make your very own maze generator in scratch Thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please do leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one goodbye